Speller number two. Speller number four. Speller number five. Speller number six. Speller number seven. The word is gnawing. Gnawing. To bite or chew on, especially persistently. Gnawing. Not all children in Malawi go to school. They just stay at home. I hope I can help change that someday. My name is Pasha Kami. I am nine years old. I am from Dwangwa in the central Malawi. Malawi is a southeastern country in Africa. This season, I won the spelling bee in Malawi. A spelling bee is a spelling competition where children compete against each other. Because I won, I will go to South Africa to participate in the African spelling bee. I am excited about the competition. I am also nervous. To practice for the competition, I read a book, Animal Farm by George Orwell. To study, I write down words I don't know and practice how to spell them in my head. I have written down 370 words. When I am not spelling or reading, I play with my friends. We are ready to brush our teeth. We are ready to go out here. We are ready to go figure. Are you? Figure, figure, figure. Are you silent? But most of the time, I just like to read. I like reading papers. The section I like the most is the poetry section and the joke section. I know a lot of people will be watching. My mom, my teacher and many others. They are counting on me. My teacher is called Mr. Manjawil. He is the reason I participate in the spelling competition because he chose me to participate and represent my school. My mom is coming with me to South Africa. I look up to my mom because she encourages me to read the books. I want to win to make them proud and happy. But my name Pasha means don't worry. This is the first time a Pan-African Spelling Bee is held. At this competition, all participants will get a prize, but the winner will get a scholarship for an undergraduate degree at Monash University in Johannesburg. I have never misspelled a word at the Spelling Bee. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome everyone to the first 
annual African Spelling Bee Final, representing Malawi. Now the combined populations of the nine countries is well over 250 million people. So literally, ladies and gentlemen, the 27 you see here is one in a million. They are already winners. Can we just please give them a round of applause? <laughs> round one. This is a multi-limo round. Round one will begin. Breathe out. <laughs> and the word is Ngosi. Spell Ngosi. Ngosi. N-K-O-S-I. Ngosi. That is correct. Speller number seven. Which country are you from? Malawi. You are from Malawi. We will give you... A Sisutu word, which means water. Meti. Meti. M-E-T-S-I. That is the correct spelling. Well done. K-W-U-T-U. That is correct. Congratulations. Speller number nine. Congratulations. That is the correct answer. Speller number two. Speller number four. Speller number five. Speller number six. That is not the correct answer. Speller number 12. Speller number 25. Speller number seven. The word is gnawing. Gnawing. To bite or chew on, especially persistently. Gnawing. Would you like it in a sentence? Yes. The mice began gnawing at the food in order to satisfy their hunger. Gnawing. Gnawing. N-O-W-I-N-G. Gnawing. Unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. The correct answer is G-N-A-W-I-N. G, gnawing. But it was a good try. Speller number eight. To the winner of the first African spelling bee, ladies and gentlemen, from South Africa, I give you Zamir Dada. Let's continue giving them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This is Team Malawi. There we go. I am not finished with spelling competitions. I will participate and win next year. I am an optimist. O P T I M I S T. Optimist.